morning YouTube. A fairly cloudy, dull, claggy, uh, typically Yorkshire start to today's walk. I'm heading towards Ingleborough, which is currently in the cloud or clag. I'm following parts of the Three Peaks walk again. It should be quite straightforward from a navigational point of view. There is a slight diversion further ahead due to erosion. Yeah, we had some rainfall about 8 o'clock last night. Not too heavy, but it's the first I've seen since I've been here. Should be a nice break from the hot weather of yesterday. It's definitely a, a cool wind to keep me going today. I'm actually going up there twice on today's walk. I'm doing a kind of figure of eight loop. It could be 14 and a half miles in all. It's quite a long day, but I can do this. This is where diversion starts then. Going left up this way. If I could be asked to find my wallet, my backpack somewhere, I'd put some money in there. But sadly I can't. The Met always believe that the cloud will lift around midday, so I've got about three hours to kill before then. I know the views on the western side quite well because I'm camping over there, I've been at Wernside. It will be nice to see what's further east from here going towards Penny Ghent, because that's still quite new to me. I think it's a good thing that they have closed off and redirected the main path up here because obviously the landscape does suffer when you put so much footfall across it like that. I suppose the alternative would be to put a limestone path down here but then there are arguments for and against that and the most common argument against it is that it takes away from the experience of being somewhere wild and then of course that not, if nothing happens then the path grows deeper as people will tread along it more often and then as more try to avoid that deeper path and that trough then people try to avoid it and so the path grows wider and wider then it creates a real issue for the landscape this bit here is still quite marshy, I don't mind that. It's all part of the adventure and the challenge. And it's quite a contrast to the way going up and down Wernside, well, so far anyway. I'm sure we'll see some limestone steps at some point on this walk. Currently about 500 meters up above sea level. Ingleborough sits at, I think it's 720, so I've got some way to go yet. The cloud of mist is hiding the summit ahead of me, or hiding the ridge anyway. I do like walking in these conditions. If it was hot and humid, I'd be hating this. This reminds me of walking in Snowdonia two years ago doing the Snowden Horseshoe with some friends in July. Same temperature, same views. Up in the cloud now. Wind speed increases slightly as well, but it's still very much doable. It's not forecast to rain, so fingers crossed. So the diverted route brings you up to towards Simon Fell, which is just northeast of the main Ingleborough summit. I'm going up past Simon Fell now, then I'm going to turn towards Ingleborough and take in the views or not. It's a good test of basic navigation skills and hand railing along the boundary walls. Simon Fell is that way over that wall. I come up along this wall here. Now I'm going to follow it in this direction towards Ingleborough Summit. Visibility is very poor, but hand railing is a fairly safe bet as far as navigation goes. The 
this is where I rejoin the main path from the right on a final push for the summit. Here's the summit shelter. Just look at the views. The trick point just there beyond this can. Here we go then, Ingleborough. 720 meters or so. A nice rocky stone made trick point. to get up there and I'm pleased with that. I had 10 minutes in the summit, something to eat and drink. I backtrack now briefly to go down and around towards Ingleton on the Dales Highway. Um, the glasses as you can see are quite condensated so I can barely see myself. My microphone's getting quite wet, so put that away. Hopefully the audio is okay from here on but um, looking forward to escaping the wind for a bit. Climbing up towards Simon Fowl earlier, I spotted two younger guys heading down the way I came up, or about to head down that way. Neither one had a backpack, and they were both wearing like casual trainers, not even walking shoes, and then near the summit, past a guy with his dog, he's casually wearing jeans. I've got the poles out now, heading downhill towards Ingleton. Mainly because I think you're more likely to have an accident going downhill than you are going up. So I imagine that's going to be Penny getting over there. I'll probably go there on Thursday. It's good to see at least that the views are no better there than they are over this way. via Trogill and Gaping Gill before reclimbing Ingleborough. So I'm following the Pennine Bridle Way around towards Trogill. We just look at this landscape here. Unlike anywhere else I've been in the UK so far. had some lunch I'm now following the main path up towards Little Ingleborough from Clapham. This is following the Pennine journey. Uh, should be fairly straightforward. It's quite busy as well. I'm about to go past Trogill and then Gaping Gill further up.
we walked up through Trogill. I assume this is Gaping Gill. So I am heading up towards Little Edinburgh. Still pretty windy. A fair few others ahead of me. But um, I'm keen to get up there, get over, and get across and get the walk done really. to have done pretty much two ways up and one route down as well. I've seen quite a lot of this small area. So now going up I'm going to try and bypass the summit. I'll be following that ridge line north towards Park Fell and then down towards the campsite. I'm very aware that I'm quite tired more so than I expected and a little bit clumsy in my footwork and placement sometimes. I'll try and find a clear way down to the campsite. I was going to try and go off piece to make my own route but it's quite rocky around the western slopes. I can see a right of way going down to the road. I might as well use that if I can find it. Just back on the diverted footpath from earlier, ignoring the closure. Following it past Simon Fell and then heading on towards Park fell. So my campsite is somewhere, somewhere down there. Word size in the cloud. I'm going along here towards Simon. No, towards Park Fell. Doubling back towards Trick Point. Before I head back to base camp. Okay. Alright, the park fell 563 meters. I'm calling it done. And so am I today. Ingleborough, back there. We're inside. We're both done now. I made a classic mistake earlier coming down uh, from Ingleborough the second time. I followed this scrambly route behind these two other guys and sure enough it got me to a, a limestone pavement. I start walking along this path and I see this sort of pond or small lake to my left and I start to think hang on. I look at the map and yeah that's my route going downhill to Clap Clapham this morning so I quickly corrected myself and ended up back over here on Park fell where I meant to be, but could have gone so very, very wrong before the end. Right. I think I might sign out here. I think the cold weather is killing my batteries on the camera. They're going down really fast, it's not usual for these things. My route from here goes down, hopefully, down the western bank of the hill, down towards the road, crossing over, and following the bride away back towards the campsite. So, um, thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. I do recommend you get to Englebury yourself sometime. I've got two days left here of walking, so I'll do some more filming, I'm sure. I'll see you then and take care in the meantime.